हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वेद मैं आपकी मैथमेटिक्स मिनटो वेद युग प्रेजेंट यू विद्युत सेक्शन सी के अभी भी दो पार्ट्स बाकी हैं क्वेश्चंस थोड़े ट्रिकी हैं दैट्स व्हाई आई हैव डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर पार्ट्स सेक्शन सी में थोड़े और लेंदी न्यूमेरिकल्स आते हैं सो डोंट गेट अफ्रेड ऑफ इट वही थोड़ा सा ट्रिक लगाना है जो ट्विस्ट है उसको कैच करना है दैट्स इट सेक्शन सी इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ सिक्स क्वेश्चन विच कैरीज थ्री मार्क्स ईच लेट्स मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी विच इज Two concentric circles are of radii five centimeter and three centimeter. Find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. Now, as you can see in the diagram, we are given with two circle, a radius of five centimeter and a circle of radius three centimeter inscribed in it. Now we have to find out the length of the chord. of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle let's solve this let o be the common center of the two concentric circles let ab be a chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle at p Join OP and OA. Please, ये जो आप join करेंगे, do it with a pencil. Don't use the pen in the figures. Then angle OPA is equals to ninety degrees by, you remember right, tangent radius theorem. Yes. Now AO is equals to five centimeter and OP is equals to three centimeter. triangle opa oa square is equals to op square plus ap square by pythagoras theorem substituting the values gives us 5 square is equals to 3 square plus ap square solving which gives us ap square is equals to 16 Taking square root of both the sides, we get AP is equals to four centimeter. Now, as we know that the perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord, therefore, AP is equals to BP is equals to four centimeter. Therefore, AB equals to AP plus BP, and the value of AP is four centimeter. So, it gives us the length of chord AB as eight centimeter. Therefore, the length of the chord AB is equals to eight centimeter, which is our answer. Now, with this question as well, we are given with an optional question, which is in figure x y and x dash y dash are two parallel tangents to a circle. With center O and another tangent AB with point of contact C intersecting x y at A and x dash y dash at B, prove that angle A O B is equals to 90 degrees. As you can see in the figure, we are given two parallel tangents to a circle with center O, which is x y and x dash y dash. There is one more tangent AB with point of contact C intersecting x y at A and intersecting x dash y dash at B. Now we have to prove that that angle AOB is equals to 90 degrees. जैसा कि मैंने आपको पहले भी बताया है, जितना भी पार्ट आपको क्वेश्चन में गिवन है, प्लीज राइट दैट. क्वेश्चन पेपर से सेम फिगर को आप कॉपी कर लीजिए एंड ड्राइट वेरी नीटली. 
Okay. So we are given that in figure x y and x dash y dash are two parallel tangents to a circle with center O and another tangent A B with point of contact C intersecting x y at A and x dash y dash at B. Now prove. Now to prove angle AOB is equal to 90 degrees, we will construct and join OC, the center of the circle, and the point of contact C, the center of the circle O, and the point of contact C. We will join it. Again, do it by the help of pencil. Proof is angle OPA is equal to 90 degrees by tangent radius theorem. And angle OCA is equals to 90 degrees by tangent radius theorem. Therefore, triangle OPA and triangle OCA are right angle triangles. And therefore, in right angle triangle OPA and OCA, OA is equals to OA as common side. AP is equals to AC, which is Tangent segment from an external point A to a circle are equal. Therefore, triangle OPA is congruent to triangle OCA by RHS congruence criterion. Angle OAC is equals to angle OAC by CPCD, which is corresponding parts of congruent triangle. Angle OAC, that is angle OAB, is equals to half of angle PAB. Name it as equation number one. Similarly, angle OBC, that is angle OBA, is equals to half of angle QBA, and name it as equation number two. Adding one and two for triangle AOB gives us angle OAB plus angle OBA is equals to half of angle PAB plus half of angle QBA. Which gives us half of angle PAB plus angle QBA, and name it as equation number three. X Y is parallel to X dash Y dash. We are given with that, and transversal AB intersects them. Therefore, angle PAB plus angle QBA is equals to 180 degrees. By sum of consecutive interior angles on the same side of the transversal is 180 degrees. Name this equation as equation number four. Substituting the value of angle PAB plus angle QBA in equation number three gives us for triangle AOB, angle OAB plus angle OBA is equals to half of angle PAB plus angle QBA, which gives us angle OAB plus angle OBA is equals to 90 degrees. Name it as equation number five. Therefore, for triangle AOB, angle AOB plus angle OAB plus angle OBA is equals to 180 degrees by angle sum property of a triangle. And we know angle OAB plus angle OBA is equals to 90 degrees by equation number five, which gives us angle AOB is equals to 90 degrees, and this was the thing that we had to prove that angle AOB is equals to 90 degrees, and proved. Students, as per my knowledge, there is only one way to learn mathematics. Do you know what is it? The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Please. practice it more and more and more so guys keep watching keep learning keep practicing bye bye